Now we've created our workspace, we'll look at adding other tutors to it. The panel you want to investigate is the management panel. Most of the time when you're in a workspace, this is where you'll find the important stuff. When you click on management, I'm then presented with a, a range of buttons across the top and the one that I want to go into is managers. To add your fellow colleagues in here you simply go to add a manager and you search for their username so I'm going to search for my colleague Dan and then after a short while you can find the person you want and then press save. It's as simple as that. Now you'll see here also there's different roles um, so I can give different amounts of permissions really depending on what I want that person to do. If you want somebody else to look after everything in Atlas then it makes sense to just put them as a lead tutor like I did there. Um, if you want somebody to have less rights such as moderator that, so that they can't really create new assignments or do uh, anything too drastic in here you might want to use those it's probably best to have a look at personalize if you click on that it gives you a really good idea of what each role actually has in terms of permissions now this is quite lengthy I'm not going to go through it all here but you can see it's all really clear and if you sort of invest a little bit of time investigating this at the beginning uh, then you can reuse these settings later on in future workspaces but generally, for other sort of tutors who are going to be managing the workspace, we recommend tutor or lead tutor. For other tutors who are just going to occasionally look or just provide feedback, they, they can probably get by with having personalized rights where you just allocate specifically what you need them to do. For example, give feedback or add marks, things like that.